Hi folks, today I bring you the front panel of a Philips DVD player, model LX3600D. The diagrams are available on the web and can help a lot. The VFD driver is a NEC reference micro PD1632 uh, GB. We will not waste time reading keys, infrared or square buttons as there are red other videos of drivers where this care has taken by me. Yes, we will weaken in the panel itself. Similar to the others, we will use the strobe, data in, and clock, and uh, the reference of the GND to control the driver. In terms of the power supplies, we will have a slight difference situation because the supply voltage will be 12 volts DC to supply a circuit composed of the three transistors uh, responsible to generating the supply destined to the VFD filaments. Uh, minus 24 volts DC uh, used for grids and segments. In this case I am using a uh, Converter from 5 volts DC to 24 volts DC. Plus 5 volts DC for the logical level, uh, and uh, this is three uh, power sources is necessary to to uh, bring the life of the panel. The fact that we have a converter in the panel to produce the 2.5 volts DC, in this case is a square wave, okay. Uh, implies the need uh, for a clock uh, for this purpose. In this case, Philips use a 1 kHz clock uh, source and that uh, must reach the panel uh, through the pin number 5 of the connector 1101. To simplify the solution and make it possible for those who not have the frequency generator, I decided to build a very simple solution based on the two NANDs from the IC CD4011, power at 5 volts DC and with a capacitor of 4.7 nanofarts, uh, a resistor of the 68 Kilo ohms and other with uh, 100 kilo ohms, we generate the frequency very close to the 1 kilohertz requested to bring life to the panel. Uh, please don't not forget to connect the inputs of the ports of the NANDs will not be used, it, uh, and um, these NANDs, uh, the, the input of these NANDs must be connected to the GND, okay? And the, the both outputs uh, can be left in the air. You can see here the small circuit I have done to generate the clock of the 1 kilohertz, and you see here the both input of this NAND is uh, a chanter, and after I have a resistor of the 68 uh, kilo ohms, go to the a resistor of 100 kilo ohms. The output of the first NAND is connected to the both inputs of the second NAND, and the output have a capacitor to the both resistors. Uh, I represent here um, the capacitor with the uh, electrolytic uh, symbols, but of course uh, I'm using a, um, a polyester or, um, capacitor in this case. Anyway, um, I put here the electrolytic symbol um, to uh, be possible, the, the the person don't have the, don't have the scope to to see the frequency output. Uh, confirm the cir the circuit is working correct. Okay, the both NANDs is not used. Have the input with a shunt and go connect to the GND. The output is uh, is in the air. Okay, is not connected to anything. You can see here the 
connected of the board less 24 volts 5 volts dc standby um, it is used to start the generator of the uh, filament voltage and also is used to polarize the um, infrared receiver okay is a standby uh, pull up the gnd uh, plus 12 volts dc here and uh, this 12 volts dc is used to generate the voltage to the filament vdd is a logic voltage in this case is plus 5 volts dc uh, a second con connector okay um, the pin number 8 g and d these uh, two pins is the output of the quadrature button i think and after you have the pin number 5 uh, which uh, must receive uh, 1 uh, kilohertz to, to, to polarize, the, to activate the, the converter to um, filament voltage. Data input, data output, this pin, these two pins of the IC is um, chanted inside of the board, the clock, the strobe, and this is the output of infrared receiver. Note these two pins, clock that in that out, have, have a resistor of 1k uh, in ser serial uh, to the output. Okay. This is the, the symbols uh, I create only to small test. I don't have, I don't create a library to, to all symbols. is uh, is only a small test, and uh, here you can see the the. the the bits used in the both bytes because each symbol uh, is uh, constructed with the two bytes okay it, uh, the, the 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 ic the driver of neck used two bytes to each symbol uh, this ic uh, have exactly the same configuration of the pt6312 okay you can uh, see the reference uh, uh, data sheets is uh, have uh, exact the same instructions okay the segments here um, and the numbers uh, i find to to generate the the, the symbols the, the reference of the dvd player and now um, i try explain how uh, is possible check if the uh, clock is working or, or not in the cd4011 okay I have had a, a, a small diode to the circuit um, to be possible test the, the output of the one ki uh, kilohertz because um, at this moment I have the capacitor of the 4.7 nanofarads in circuit and the LED is all the way on because you don't have the um, uh, possible to see the transitions of the on off on off of the circuit okay to uh, check if the circuit is working or not um, i suggest um, you put uh, a capacitor uh, replace the the, the um, 4.7 nanofarads go out now is out and after I will put here a capacitor of the 2.2 microfarads in circuit and you will see the LED now is blinking with a different frequency, okay? Of course, uh, now uh, the LED uh, uh, give me the possible to check if the circuit is correct or not, but I lost the, the, the voltage of the filament because the generator generator is not working anymore because you switch on switch off uh, and you don't have the frequency necessary to generate the, the the ac voltage to the filament okay but uh, using this method i have the possible to check if the my circuit oscillator is working correct or not okay i replace again the capacitor remove the 2.2 go out and put again the 4.7 in circuit and after i insert the, the, the capacitor you uh, return uh, to the normal conditions 
and uh, the system um, are uh, correct uh, polarized. The LED stay always on because uh, the frequency is not possible uh, to my eyes check the, the on off and that is uh, one way to check if the generator is working or not okay now i connect the scope uh, only to verify the frequency uh, is present um, i like uh, uh, refer this kind of diodes have a, a small current okay because uh, if you put a small resistor to connect the LED to the output or the, the generate of the one kilohertz um, and have a um, um, high current uh, you change the cadence of the frequency of the generator okay the resistor must be uh, 10 k's for example okay uh, in this case i'm using 8 kilo ohms okay 8 kilo ohms because the the, the led um, switch on uh, with a small uh, voltage okay and of course with a small current okay the first line the yellow uh, correspond to the one kilohertz circuit okay you can see here i have uh, near of one kilo ohm the uh, one kilohertz okay you have nine nine oh hertz okay 